Hello everybody, welcome to the final quarter final of the Season 4 Blood Bowl 3 Chalice. For a spot in the World Cup we have Arzawain with his ridiculous dwarf team with a million flipping skills. I assume he just randomed all of these. And uh, yeah, crazy, crazy good team. On the benches is Movement 8, Edge 4 Runner, which is obviously great, loads, it's like loads of TV and that. And uh, still all of this on the pitch. But... Um, Honestly, it's a pretty good team from Jatsik as well. I guess he randomed a fair bit because he's got a move seven Mr. Throw there. And he's got quite a lot of garden stuff here. But, um, I mean, not to the extent that the doors have got it. The doors still haven't handily outskilled. But, you know, this uh, this defensive beacon is very nice, isn't it? And uh, maybe the Orcs will get lucky, but this... This looks very much advantage dwarves here. This dwarf team is insane. Absolutely insane team. So yeah, obviously Blitz is the one that stand firm. Maybe he's a bit further forward, maybe he should have gone back one. And maybe he would have brought him back and then put this guy up to base this one if you wanted this one base. He does have some skillless guys, so like ideally he wants his skillless guys getting punched. Rather than uh, I guess the defensive covers this guy now anyway, doesn't it? Oh my god. So we, we just watched the match where um where Bright fouled about twenty times <laughs> and never got caught. And now Jatsik gets caught on the first one. So that is very unlucky and a huge swing towards Arzawin. Because certainly getting lucky with that sneaky get dirty player would have been a big avenue into the match. The Dublé skulls doesn't re roll. Wow. That exposes this blitzer to a tackle mighty blow hit, potentially. I don't know if he does it like that. Hmm. Three days nice, isn't it? So yeah, I quite like this, just push forward because Orcs are pretty slow, even though he's got a movement seven carrier. And Biggins on movement five now. Oh wow, he's got stand for pushing the stand firm. I would have been tempted to stand firm, I think, actually. And I guess this way, if he follows. Hmm. Interesting, actually. I don't know what the plan is for the dwarves now. I like what it should be, even. It's the tackler. There's so much stand firm for the dwarves, it's insane. Like, crazy amount of stand firm. So it's not going to be easy to, like, battle forward for the orcs, and the orcs are down a little bit of guard from what they would like. One of the few players they can push, we hey. I feel like this is going to start to get really uh, really rough for the Orcs as it goes on, right? With it, if they don't remove players, it's just getting worse and worse because the stand firm is leading the counter blocks. Nice dodge.
And he's actually going to get to hit the defensive this turn. Oh, the ball? Yeah. Oh no, he's got Stanford. Errata, errata. There's quite a lot of Stanford. <laughs> that are uh, on the orgs too, isn't it? Oh. I think I wouldn't have done that. I think I would have just um, hit the... Uh, hit the... Hit the defensive dude. Like on two dice. stand for like interesting things you could do you just can't do but it gets removal he's getting a little bit of luck on the removals here Jatsuk because without that it, things would be going a bit boss Defensive really is a big deal, isn't it? It is, it is very good in the formats where it's possible to get on strong players. Doesn't follow? Oh, it's just gonna go. Okay. Well, probably should have just followed. <laughs> I think probably not worth the GFI. You know, I don't like rolling dice, so maybe it is worth it. Who knows? We'll never know until you get Blood Bowl Stockfish. Here from Jasic, he's got half a chance of them. Dwarves. Two off. Two out here. So he, he should get the score done, I think. Might have to score a bit early, but should get it. <laughs> That's pretty great, Benny Vartes. But as an event, <laughs> as an event, it's pretty funny, isn't it? Gets the push at least. Two free players. So you can sideline cage and then punch it in next turn. At worst, at worst, he can do that. I'm not saying that's a good idea, but at worst, that's what he has. I don't think he does have to go up the sideline. So. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty nice tag. Not sure it was worth the reroll, but it was a nice tag. Three players. Oh, didn't follow. Interesting. Oh, he's going for the ball hit. 
Oh my god, he casts him. <laughs> he doesn't have block, does he? The thrower doesn't have block. He's got lead run on the ball and two movement and doesn't have block. So that makes the one doing him way better, so yeah. Yep. Maybe could the problem is like if he sideline cages then like obviously the same thing happens except the guard goes in and then the other guard blitzes and now he's squashed down on the sideline, so I can understand him not wanting to go sideline. He got he got quite lucky with the scatter there, didn't he? Not lucky with the death, but lucky with the scatter. Nice Kaz, instant apple. That's the pick up. Yeah, might as well stall, he's not he's not under pressure, is he? All of these guys over there, oh maybe he didn't need a chief. These players over here, pretty good trade for him, four and two. Kind of five and two, so definitely getting another turn of storm. Yeah, it's in choice, isn't it? Not take block in your carrier. Like, it kind of makes sense, right? Because movement seven, and then obviously on the ball makes him a lot faster, and leader just makes him worth his TV. But, um, goes for another 1D, why not? Gets him. So, yep, I guess the GFI to there was a good idea for Jatsik. Okay, so he can just, he can just big and blitz him. This three, four, five, six. Oh, he's got a dodge, hasn't he? He's got a dodge. Or does he just pick up with a big one? Makes the dodge, makes the pick up. Wowie. Yeah, but he didn't. He didn't always have movement seven, did he? <laughs> Mordred, that's the thing. I guess. Maybe he did. Maybe he took the movement first. But maybe he took like leader and then on the ball. And then took movement, movement, right? Um, so, like, leader to make him worth his cost. On the ball to make him faster for, like, two turns. And a bit less shit in general. So it's tough, in it? I mean, I just don't like... I just don't like... Miss the throw anyway, at the end of the day. But I can understand like maxing movement on him in terms of on the ball is decent. And it on the ball's still okay with movement seven, man. It's not it's not bad. It's certainly not bad with movement seven. Oh god, are we gonna get a one turn here? Oh no, he didn't set up correctly. Whoopsie. So, if you're uh if you want to learn how to play here, like Arthur Wayne, <laughs> you need to think about what's going to happen, right, on your blitz. So, first of all, the first one doesn't even need to be frenzy, right? It doesn't even need to be frenzy. Um, this could have been a frenzy block. I don't know why he's, he blitzed here, didn't he? It doesn't make any sense. If, you, if you're going to do this route with the frenzy, this should just be a block. Right? Number one. You can try and do this with a block. So you push him there and then push him in, right? And then so it gives you the extra thing there. So you could you could have put the you could have put the troll slay here and just try to do it with a block. Um try doing it with a with a with a hole is bad as well. So if you're not gonna do it with a block, then you just don't use the hole so you're getting a push forward on the first hit. Um also you could use your frenzy for your last hits to get him forward. So basically any way except doing this. But then if you're doing it this way that he does it, you get the push there and then you get the, the second hit. Now if he'd had a player here, he could have taken the power on the second hit, pushed him to there, and then pushed him across and stuff and gone forward like that way. Um, but yeah, this was just uh, not a good one turn attempt. Which really, you know, it probably should have been a better one-turn attempt because it really is... Yeah, see, so you can see now if you had a player here, 
you could then punch this guy, push him forward, and then if you'd saved your Troll Slayer, the Troll Slayer could have pushed him twice. So that, that, that's why with movement 8 you want to keep your Frenzy to the last hit, or, or movement 7 as well. But yeah, so this would he would have got two, and then that that block would have given him three. But he fucked it up. Um, hello, Steve. Maybe he's you know maybe he's not an elf player, but really you know every top player should be able to one turn right. And with the internet, lots of intermediate players should be able to one turn. I remember the first time I ever you know, saw somebody one turn against me and I just couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it, absolutely blew my mind. I thought I'd won and then I I tabbed out and came back and I'd drawn and I was completely fucking bamboozled. And then I watched it and it blew my it absolutely blew my mind. So um but now But now with uh <laughs> Flip me Pendle. But now with the internet being what it is, right, with Blood Bowl 1, 2 and 3, you know, and it's just one turns are commonplace, aren't they, now, I would say. Um. I don't know about everybody, Ali Raider, right? There's a lot of people that play Blood Bowl very consistently. Uh, uh, very... Uh, there's a lot of people that play it very casually. I would say everybody in the cup should be able to do a movement 9-1 very easily, a movement 8-1 pretty easily, and they should they should all be able to do a movement 7-1. Yeah. I mean, I think they should, yeah. If, if you're making a chalice, you should. You should be able to do movements. There's really, like, almost no excuse, right? If you're putting that amount of time in that you qualify for the playoffs, you should be, you should be pretty decent. <laughs> yeah, very good Pendo. And I, I think they do, honestly, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend KFOG's videos on one turns. And I should probably make some myself. And I might be, because um, what I'm going to do is I'm thinking of streaming more and YouTubing more. So, there you go. <laughs> hey, fun fucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> movement seven one turn. <laughs> he's neither <laughs> he's neither movement seven <laughs> nor is it a one turn. <laughs> that is the best one, yeah. Sage Sage doesn't have a good one, Sage has the best one. Yeah, KFOG did some big mistakes um in the in the Super League. Maybe maybe because of the format and stuff, you know. Uh like with it being Blood Bowl three. Maybe we would have figured it out on tabletop, and obviously it's misclicked a fair bit on the Blood Bowl 3 as well. So, something's happening in the game here. <laughs> Nine orcs, still 11 dwarves. Just gonna punch something. Yeah, yeah, so so I guess Ali Raider saying everyone should be able to do movement seven one turn fairly consistently means versus a shit defense. People should be able, everybody everybody in Chalice should be able to do a movement seven one turn versus a crap defense. Yes. Pretty optimally. Pretty optimally. People should be able to do that in the chalice, but even the even like the the casual players, I think, I think the casual level should be higher than it is in this day and age. Um, the level of Blood Bowl two average was higher than the level of Blood Bowl three for sure, for sure, <laughs> for sure. Blood Bowl two was a higher average level than Blood Bowl three. Blood Bowl three has really regressed. Um, the the population at large. Yeah, newer players, but the, that's what I'm saying. But like most players are um, pretty casual, aren't they? But like in tabletop and stuff. But online, first of all, they're already online, right? 
so it's already it's already if you're playing i guess there's also console games but like the pc gamers are already in that kind of mentality of of like maybe looking for help a bit more right <laughs> mostly because they bought the game and they, they've got no idea how to play it <laughs> <laughs> Mostly because you've got a bought a game and there's no rules or anything and there's like there's that either there's no there's no what's it called uh, there's no tutorial there's nothing you do so you, it's up to you to like try and learn how to play. We are now a group together with the console players, yeah. But you know, like console players was different. I right? in my day, in my day when I was a filthy console player, like you know, I'd play Call of Duty and that'd be I would never dream of like you know going on the internet on my shitty little laptop to like find out about anything about Call of Duty right that'd be mental whereas now um I now that I've got a swanky computer and I'm like all right I'll get Call of Duty I'll probably look up something about it right so I think I think you're much more likely to to look for more things if it's on a PC than if it's on a console that's just my experience anyway. Maybe it's just different like modern day, right? Maybe now with YouTube and that, it maybe it is more normal for everybody. Like when I used to play games <laughs> there wasn't even YouTube, right? Like that's how old I am. <laughs> so But even then like when you look at like the the vast majority of people are probably just like super casual for everything, aren't they? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly, Steve. <laughs> yeah, like the fact that there, there's like basically no tutorial or, or how to play in the game at all is really bad. This is nice, isn't it? I think this is almost worth it. Yeah, it's just tough. So for the, the tough thing is here is Jacksek. Obviously, he wants to win in normal time now because he's he's taking casualties. He doesn't want to keep take, taking casualties. He's got a bit of an advantage. He wants to push that advantage. So I think that reroll was fine. Maybe he should have done the GF fighter here. I don't even know, right? Like, this is funny, right? This is funny. Because I don't even know if this is better or not. But it just feels like I'd want him to be here. Why is that? Probably not, right? Because he's got he's got four players up here and he can switch. He can just dodge away and switch. So it probably is better to not do that. My instinct was a GFI would be nice or maybe just an extra square. But actually looking at it now... At first glance, it looks like, well, these these three can all get away, but they're dwarfs, they can't get away. These three have got away. He can punch. So the only way you're going is this way. I wonder if this guy should have maybe, like, GFI to here, maybe. Right? Where was he? Here. So maybe he should have stayed where he was, actually. Maybe he should have just stayed where he was, because he was, he was occupying three players. Or he could have gone... One, two, three, four, five. Maybe he could have come down here. Geified to there. Stood here. St just stayed where he was. There is a break tackle, yeah, but only one, right? Interesting, isn't it? Maybe he should have just stayed where he was. What do you do as the, dwar the dwarves? You're probably coming up this way, I'd imagine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All the way up here. He tries to dodge out with dodge. Frenzy trap, classic. GFI fail. Some people say that was a terrible move, but uh, you know who can say if it was bad or not? I can. It was terrible. His reward is a fucking Kaz. I mean, that was shit, right? He could have just assisted with him and blitzed with the other one. Terrible. Oh, is he going to hand off to him? No. No, okay, I think that was trash by uh, by Azawain. But he got away with it. And not wanting to get away with it, he got he got rewarded. Yeah, see, so this is the thing. Maybe maybe this guy should just do where he was, right? Maybe. All gone there to stop that link up. Because that is costing the touchdown maybe here. Gonna very much struggle to get back, and he's taking loads of cars. And this could be the match slipping away. I 
3 2 2 to do almost nothing. <laughs> Flip me. Well, Jatsik still has a reroll, and Arzawain dumped. Oh, he's got stand firm anyway. Oh, maybe he should have rerolled that. Maybe he genuinely should have rerolled that. Because he could have pushed him. And he could have hit him with them. He's have to do a dodge, he gets the dodge. Oh my goodness. Has to re-roll this. Only gets the push. And then one D skulls. Flip me. Ah, and also he's got the he's got the troll slayer to hit him. The dauntless. Wow. A blessed life for Arzaway in this game, isn't it? Flip me. No rerolls, doesn't irrelevant block. <laughs> like yeah, I know I powered free this guy up, but where does he go? Like just do it afterwards, right? Do do the do the critical one first, rather than adding risk. Do that first, then then try and free up this player. Freeing this player, free, trying to free up this player is good, but just get the your ordering right at this stage. There's no rerolls. That's one of those where that kind of misordering is okay when you've got a reroll, right? Because you only pr punish one in 36 times. But, um, and, you, and it only with a reroll. Like, you're punished by using a reroll one in 36 times, or you're punished one in 12, nine, six times. But, just do the right thing. And now, all of a sudden, it looks very, very bad for Jatsik, doesn't it? The quality of players isn't that great, right? It's the rookies. But it's still just numbers. It's going to be hard for them. Oh, well. Maybe not that hard. The quality of players is moved to good, if, especially if this KO stays out. Yeah, it just skulks. You've got no rerolls. Oh, but the three plus AVs on the orc teams. I do like a plus AV. But there's no one turn here at all. Yeah, that cost him the defense moving that guy in. Funnily enough, I think it might have been better versus like elves to have done that, but versus the dwarves, it just it just gave him that that kind of pocket to run into for free. Right, so see who wins the toss. And the Orcs win. They've got seven players left. Oh boy. And no movement ups. And they're against 11. <laughs> 7 v 11. If they had their thrower, they'd have a decent shout. Without the thrower, I think you've just got to try and get like a quick score. Sell everything into the quick score here. And then... Um, you know, hope, obviously the chances are the dwarves won't get two, and then you you take your 50-50 shot. So I kind of hate this setup because because like what is this right? He's just going to fight and he's just going to fight and lose, right? So no, I'm talking a movement seven player when you've got seven players. Good, see <laughs> um, So I think the play was definitely to just you know pick a side. And uh, just try and punch through. So maybe maybe we're a side with less stand firm. So there's there's stand firm on either side. Maybe the frenzy. Try and go not the frenzy way. So yeah, maybe maybe just try and punch down this side. 
he's higher quality play to blitz with Mighty Blow. But then, uh, hard, isn't it? It's hard to know which side to go. There's a blitzer this way. Break tackle guard of that way. Maybe, maybe this side. Anyway, one of the sides. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of stand firm. It's it's tough. It's tough. But so like it is so hard. But I think that's what you have to do, right? Because you're not going to stall this out. You're not stalling this half out for a one nil win. You're just not. <laughs> you're just not. Unless you get super lucky on the hits, um, and as or as away and or as away and get super unlucky. Um, you're just not stalling this out. Four players down versus like this team, which is like, as you say, full of, full of guard, stand for a mighty blow. Like you're just not stalling this out. So try and punch through as, as much as you can. And um, and then, and then you know, hope you can get the 50-50, I think is the play. I'm gonna move this guy over, I think. I think again, I don't mind, right? If he wants to commit to hit this guy, that's just giving you more space down the down the side here, and uh, by putting him there, it protects this player from getting hit. Which I guess he's ah, he's protected by the defensive anyway. I guess mm. maybe not so bad. Defensive's pretty good, isn't it? Oh wow, double skulls, double skulls. Imagine if he had committed more to the sideline with that double skulls. There's so much time for it. Oh my god, it's, it's a nightmare. <laughs> it's an actual nightmare. How much time for him there is. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm definitely not saying it would be easy to punch through a side. <laughs> but, I think it's what he had to try to do. This I just can't see working out. This looks inevitable to me that at some point he's going to get turned over and scored on. But you know, maybe he disagrees, right? Maybe he doesn't think it looks that bad. It's funny because, like, like that's part of it, isn't it? If you make the assessment that actually I can, I, maybe I can, you know, mess around and somehow take advantage of some bad dice, exploit their lack of movement, maybe I can stall out for four or five turns or whatever. Maybe he just thinks he can't punch through and get a quick score. So just mill about in the hopes of something happening. Hopes of a handoff, right? Like some kind of misposition in a handoff. Maybe he's right. It's really rough, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Like it was, it's such a rough, such a rough position. I feel like just doing everything in your power to score as quickly as possible is, is the play. But then on the other hand, maybe it isn't. And that is then that does become the best you can do is a draw as well. Whereas this way, if like if you just mill around at the halfway line for as long as you can. Maybe ours are in mispositions. Maybe you get the chance of, like, you know, a handoff uh, to a blitzer who then potatoes away out of range. We've all we've all seen people do mistakes like that, right? So it's possible. Like I'm sure he, I'm sure Chatsek realised he was in the shit. <laughs> it's just basically how much shit he's in and how does he think he can possibly get out of it. And the answer was he couldn't, and all of his players are on the floor. <laughs> well, 55%. Oh, no, they're not all on the floor. And now he's out of rerolls too, so it's just... Something stupid, isn't it? Which he gets. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a blitz, though. Oh, he should have blitzed. What up? 
happened? Are you blitz with this guy? Oh man, that was not the play. I know this was a 5 plus 3 plus, but like, one dice him, knock him over, kaz him, ball into the crowd. Maybe, maybe that was right to blitz this guy, but still. Again, you've got to think how much is this working doing for me, right? Like, if, if that thing's more likely to work, but it doesn't actually do any good, then, like, if he'd cast this guy, does that even help him? Like, barely. Obviously, it does help him, but if it's not helping you enough, then it's not helping you, is it? It's a monster dwarf team. And that's it, isn't it? Pretty much, I think this guy will be out of range. Can't get hit by him, so there's only with one player. You just need like pushing. Surely this guy should have gone one, two, three, and then hit him back, right? So the only player is this fella going three. Four, 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 three, um, two, two. Diced. Yeah, just score. Oh, I think he should have just scored there, right? Because imagine if. Oh no, he shouldn't score. God, it's not. It's not golden goal, is it? Oh, okay, I'm oh, sorry, I was being stupid. This is what happens when you've played Blood Bowl for fucking 30 years. Um, I was thinking it was Golden Goal. Yeah, I remembered at the start of the half, right? He should bang it in as quick as possible and then maybe and then go pray for kicks. But yeah, of course, it's a full half, so no. No, he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have scored. <laughs> a really stupid incident in real life. Play, fair play trying to trying to do something but the funny thing is it's like it's a weird one isn't it like you know I would have probably just I would have probably just <laughs> ended the turn and got on with it but because you know some people say like you know you owe it to the rest of the field to continue punching because if you don't then his players might get killed but then on the other hand like you know you're screwing over you're screwing over three people a tiny amount, or one person. You're letting one person off the hook of like a decent amount. Like it doesn't really matter, does it? I don't think. I don't think one's more more morally correct than the other. So I feel like just passing the turn is completely fine. Of course, uh, Arzawin's going to try and get more SPP. And protect his players. But neither of those are a consideration for Jatsik because his team is dead. Cheeky foul, turn 16, well, not turn 16, turn 24 foul. No? Why, why are you moving people? <laughs> Could have done a big gang foul. All he's doing is a no assist foul. Would have broken AV with four assists. Well, there you 
go. And uh, that is it. Arzawain wins and gets a ticket for the World Cup. Commiserations to Jacek. It was uh, it was tough as sneaky get to it. If they got the MVP, he got sent off instantly. Um, if that hadn't happened, you know, who knows? He might have uh, he might have got something. But uh, yeah, that was it. Decent stuff. A, a crazy, crazy dwarf team, isn't it? Very. That's going to be very tough to beat. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.